morning everyone and welcome back to my daily tarot oracle card reading this is anna special day today i'm willing to try to be brief okay it is new year's eve and most of you most of us are just gearing up and getting ready um to enjoy um saying goodbye to 2014 and hello to 2015 okay so I try to be brief. My son is home, of course. There's no school. School's out. So if you hear a little one in the background and you might hear cartoons. I mean, he's watching cartoons down the hall. I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> okay. So what do we have for this New Year's Eve? This reading is for today and tomorrow, the 31st and January 1st. Happy New Year. First card I pulled was the Four of Swords. I'm like, and I was like, really? The Four of Swords? Uh, the Lovers, the Lady, and the Angel of Faith. Yay, thank goodness. Because I was just like, oh my goodness, what's going on with this Four of Swords? Um, there is, oh, I hope not, um, a brooding energy. Oh my goodness. And here's a male. He has three swords here. And there's four, there's another, the fourth sword is across his lap. And his arms are crossed in front of him. He's really, he's got this deep thought. This gaze is just a deep thought. And he's by himself, okay? And this is a male energy. Um, oh my God, kind of makes me think of my husband right now. I hope not. But anyway, um, things will be manageable. He's brooding, okay? So this this is a brooding energy. And, you know, we, we'll often think of New Year's Eve and parties and this and that and everyone together, big events and, you know, ringing in the new year with tons of people, but sometimes that doesn't happen, okay? And then when that doesn't happen, when we're not invited to um, the extra parties and the, where the family members aren't reaching out and, want, and asking, what are you doing for New Year's Eve? You know, we, we get into this mode, okay? So we have, we've, we all experience this from time to time. It's a brooding energy, okay? And traditionally, the Four Swords is, is called a laying it to rest card. Look, right here, we're not laying something to rest. It's just we're brooding. There's a secretly, we're just kind of like withdrawn. Okay, so that's the feeling that I get from this. It's a withdrawn um, feel to this card. A brooding, withdrawn feeling. Like something we want to do things. Maybe the finances aren't there for us to enjoy the New Year's Eve like we have planned or wanted to or the people aren't there and we find ourselves alone okay but we're gonna move past this brooding energy and move into the lovers card okay and what this card asks us to do the advice in this card is well with the lovers is to share with one another to give of ourselves to another and to enjoy simple things like the embrace of another person. So that knocks out this brooding energy. You know, the pip card, the four of swords, that stagnant energy gets knocked out by this major arcan arcana card. I like how the deer's in the background just watching, you know? And this can also signify, like, say, like, um, you and your husband or you and your wife and your child looks on and says oh mom and dad appreciate each other and they love one another no matter what so what this is what this card signifies please if you're i hope you're not offended by the naked figures here i mean they're not doing anything they're just they're, they don't have clothes on but they're not doing anything gross they're just embracing each other so don't freak out <laughs> okay so there you have it bearing it all to one another getting rid of this brooding energy and just enjoying this time. Okay, we're ringing the new year. You don't have to be in Times Square to do so and to enjoy your time together, okay? So that's what's going on with the lovers, okay? Um, together, this may also mean that someone is apart or away from their lover. There are They are far away from someone they, they wish to be next to, okay? And that can make us feel like this, like brooding, you know? Um, but if that is your situation, if that describes you, then I would say think about the times that you were together. And you you know what? You will be together um, 
It's just if it's not possible, if it's not feasible at this time, you know, we need to move past this this energy which or this uh, frame of mind which brings us down. This is the end of the year and we don't want to begin the new year like this. We want to rid ourselves of that. So we rid ourselves of this brooding energy and we think about the good things to come, the things that can be. Okay? All right. The lady. Okay, this is uh, the empress, traditionally known as the empress. Uh, uh, ends this reading with her beautiful Venus association of beauty and pleasure, abundance. I like how you see her. I mean, there's nothing more abundant than seeing the the earth goddess pregnant, you know. And there she has the fruits, she has the wheat. Everything is how she likes it to be. What I get from this card, okay, if there is this brooding energy with someone around you. What I get from this card is saying, look at the beauty, look at the beautiful side of things, okay, or bring beauty into whatever is going on here. So there's that, if your significant other um, is in fact feeling a bit down, you need to step up, step up to the plate and get ready to hit that home run okay slam that ball right out of the ballpark with your beauty with your grace with your ability to make um what little that you have beautiful really pop right bringing in that pop of color pop of color a uh, pop of energy a uh, pop of um optimism okay that love, the I like how the the lady, which is the empress, and the lover's card may mean that you need to approach the brooding person, and you need to bring them, and you need to just bring them into your world and make them enjoy themselves. Hey, we've all been here, so let's bring that person into our world and just corral them up and let them feel feel wanted, feel appreciated, which is the other message I, I'm getting here with the lovers. We need to make this person who is hardworking feel appreciated in our lives, whether you're doing it physically, whether you're doing it in, at a distance through a tele by, uh, via a telephone call, Skype, perhaps. Um, make that person uh, feel, let them understand that they are important in your life and that things will be okay. Now, what rounds out this reading for the new year is the Angel of Faith. And the card reads, I have faith that goodness and joy are mine now and forever. Beautiful. You must have faith that you have the power to really um, have this situation go your way. Let it be positive. Okay, turning a new leaf here, all right? So the angel of faith um, lets us know that we need to remain optimistic um, when things are difficult, okay? You need to be that guiding light, okay? You, you need to have faith in yourself. Your self-esteem is very important. It plays a role here, especially with the lady next to the angel of faith. You must have, you must hold yourself in high esteem and, and know that you have the ability to really, um, help someone let go of this brooding energy. Okay. All right. And that's what's going on here. Two major arcana. You've got the one pip card on one side. You've got the angel of faith saying, Hey, have faith. Things will be fine. You don't need to have a, a grand feast in order to make the new year happening for you. You don't need to have the grand um, party to make it happening. If no one has invited you out or whatever. So what? It's fine. Make the best of it. Make yourself spiffy. Dress yourself up a little. Enjoy watching the ball drop on TV or whatever. Okay? And embrace one another. Really appreciate what you do have, okay? And let's not focus so much on what we don't have at this present time. That's all. So, 
I'm going to keep myself in this frame of mind here, especially with my husband who can brood sometimes for sure. Uh, <laughs> and I'll definitely keep this reading uh, close to me today through to, through the evening, through tomorrow. Okay. So enjoy the new year, uh, this uh, new year's Eve and happy new year. And I will see you back here on Friday. Blessings to you always. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for this wonderful year. It's been an, a wonderful journey. Okay, let's not brood on whatever the, the our downfalls or pitfalls have been in the past. Okay, let's move forward. Let's charge forward with the energy of the Empress and with faith. Okay, we can make it beautiful. You can make things beautiful. Okay. You have that power. And I will see you here on Friday. Bye-bye. See you Friday.